What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hamstack. So today we have here the Galaxy S20 FE up against the iPhone 12. So what we're going to do is a speed test, RAM test and also temperature test. So let's check out the temperatures of both these phones. The S20 FE coming at 35.2 degrees, while on the iPhone 12, let's check it out. Also 35.2 degrees. So what we're going to do is just start up these two phones first and see which one comes out on top. On the S20 FE, it's coming with a Snapdragon 865, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, while on the iPhone 12, 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM with the A14 Bionic chip. And as you can see over there, the iPhone 12 is way ahead of the S20 FE when it comes to booting up. Now that we have passed the security button, you can see that on the S20 FE, on most Samsung phones, it will take some time to actually load up. While on the iPhone 12, it's already ready to go. So let's just wait a little bit for the S20 FE to set up. As you can see there, the calendar and everything else is already being loaded. Okay, so to show you on both of these phones that all apps are closed just to make this fair, only the Wi-Fi and location are on on both of these phones. Let's check out the temperatures at this point. It's at 35.1 on the iPhone 12, while on the S20 FE, let's check out that one over here, 35.6, so it's about 0.5 degrees difference over here. So let's start this speed test with an S Fold 9. And as you can see here, the screen size is a massive difference on both of these phones. You can see on the S20 FE is much bigger and especially with that cutout, a small cutout on the top. While on the iPhone 12, you can see that huge notch on the top and it does have a lot of bezels going around the phone. So you can see that on both of these phones, it does take some time to load up this very big game. And there you have it, the Galaxy S20 FE. While the iPhone 12 is still not yet there, okay, just about 5 seconds behind it and it does load up. Let's check out the next app over here, Pokemon Go. Looks like the iPhone 12 is having a slight lead over the S20 FE. All right. Okay, it's pretty neck and neck and very similar on both phones, but I would say the S20 FE was just very slightly ahead of the iPhone 12. Next one here, let's go to YouTube. Okay, on the S20 FE again, let's go to the next one, Instagram. About the same on both of these phones. Let's go to the next big app over here, PUBG. So in other previous tests, you can see with the S20 FE, Snapdragon 865, it is performing very well, better than the S20 Ultra that I have done previously and also pretty similar to the OnePlus 8 Pro. You guys have seen a massive difference between the Exynos 990 with the Snapdragon 865. And there you have it, the iPhone 12 was ahead of the S20 FE. Very good performance on both of these phones. Let's go back to the home menu. Alright, let's go to the next one here, Chrome. About the same, I would say slightly faster on the iPhone 12. Facebook. Again, pretty neck and neck. Let's go to the next one, Lazada. Slightly ahead on the iPhone 12. Next one up here, YouTube Music. I think it was slightly ahead on the iPhone 12. Let's go to the settings. About there on the iPhone 12. Next one here, Manchester United. The S20 FE was just slightly ahead. Premier League. And as we can see here, iPhone 12 beats the S20 FE. Let's go to Netflix. Okay, the S20 FE has a clear lead over there. And let's go to the camera app. Let's check out which one can change the cameras faster. All right, seems like the iPhone 12 is slightly faster compared to the S20 FE. Let's go to the next one, TikTok. It was slightly faster on the S20 FE. Let's go to Twitter. Okay, about the same on both of these phones. App Store. Yes, you can see here on the S20 FE. 
And okay, so we already have it. So now I'm going to test out the temperatures here. On the S20 FE, it's at 36.3 degrees. While on the iPhone 12, let's check out over here. 35.9, so not much in it. Both are still handling it pretty well, but of course the iPhone 12 is a bit better. Let's check out some RAM over here with S49. As you can see on both of these phones, it's already being reloaded. Let's go to Pokemon Go. On the iPhone 12, with that 4 gigs of RAM, but look at that optimization of iOS 14. It is still not, it is still pretty good. Let's go to the next one, Instagram. Okay, both phones are all right. Has some problems with the connection over there. Both are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Let's check out some other apps over here. Let's go to Twitter. Yes, both phones are doing all right as well. No reloading. Let's go to another big app, PUBG. Both phones are doing very, very well. You can see here that both phones no reload so far. Let's go to YouTube Music. As you can see there, also not being reloaded. Now let's check out some temperatures over here. On the S20 FE, 36.7. And on the iPhone 12. 36.3 so we can see here that the iPhone 12 has a slightly better temperature control compared to the Snapdragon 865 on the S20 FE so you guys have seen my previous test you will know with the S20 plus S20 ultra when it came to all of this tests, the temperatures would be raised quite a bit so we can see here with the Snapdragon 865 is performing very very similar to the A14 Bionic chip on the iPhone 12 so if you did enjoy this video, do click that like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. It really would help with the channel. Also, do follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamasek. So that is it. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.